Hello, tonight's video is about being a shorter guy and still using your jab to out jab a taller guy or outreach him. A lot of, I see it a lot, shorter fighters think, well, the taller guy got a decent jab, he's gonna win that battle. And he's, so I'm not even gonna try to match my jab with his because he's got the reach and he's got to, he knows how to use it. Not true. Get that out of your head. Look at short fighters like Mike Tyson, uh, Dwight Muhammad Cowie. These were short guys, but they used the jab. And a taller fighter, a lot of times you could slip under and still come back. You worked hard to practice a, a strong, snapping jab, straight, that could reach. You don't forget about it because the guy's six inches taller than you and his arms are six inches longer. You still can get it in there. It's important. If you even faint here, go to the body. Protect yourself as you're coming in. You're just walking in like this. You're gonna get, you're, you're an open target. This jab is gonna, you know, best way to uh, to nullify a guy or to um, throw off his, his game plan, a <clears throat> taller fighter, is he's thinking his jab is just gonna, you, you have no answer for it. But then you time it, you get inside, and you do. Now he's getting hit with a jab and he's figured, well, what do I do now? His whole game plan's off. And that's what you want to do. Throw off the game plan, even, I just, you slide under, step, slip out, and come up. Underneath, faint, straight right hand. Don't let it go. Don't throw it aside, say, well, not tonight. It's not a good night to jab. This guy is tall. No. Got to use it to score points, throw off, <clears throat> throw off his game plan, and to get in closely, properly. With deflecting his vision, you know, just coming in like this, swinging, you're gonna get caught. So, that's what I wanna talk about tonight. Until next time, this is Uncle Robert. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Appreciate it. <clears throat>